Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today's episode is all about Samsung's upcoming Series 5 Ultrabook with Windows 8 and a touchscreen interface to go along with the touchpad and the full keyboard. Now this here Ultrabook looks pretty good, but it also has a lot of stuff going on under the hood and that our the hood is composed of that make it even more impressive. So it uses an aluminum construction, so there's aluminum on the back. I mean, Luke fiberglass on the bottom, which school. keeps it light and Edsel durable. It is also less school. than 1.7 kilograms and less than two centimeters in overall thickness, making it extremely portable. Now with a modern Ultrabook, size shouldn't limit the expandability. Here you can see we, with the adapter we can get VGA out, we've also got a headphone microphone jack, HDMI out, super speed USB 3, power in, and check this out. Full sized gigabit ethernet jack, all we gotta do is put down the little hinge and we can fit an RJ45 connector in there in spite of the fact that the notebook is hardly even any bigger than an RJ45 connector in total thickness. Two USB 2.0 ports and an SD card reader round out the I.O. for this particular notebook. Now there's more to portability than just one facet of the device, you know, the form factor. There's a lot of things. So there's battery life, and this notebook gets up to uh, six and a half hours of battery life. Also, there's the battery longevity. How many cycles can you actually go through with the battery before it starts to really taper off? A lot of people ran into this with uh, early generation Apple mobile devices, for example, where they discovered their battery didn't even hold a charge after a couple of years and you couldn't even replace them. With this Ultrabook, Samsung rates it for 1,500 discharge and recharge cycles, which is absolutely outstanding. Not to mention, you can conserve battery easily by taking advantage of the very quick sleep and wake functionality of this notebook. So it goes into sleep just like that, already in sleep mode, and you can wake it up about that quickly. Now the touchscreen, 1366 by 768, all of these are things that are not super exclusive to Samsung. However, Samsung does have some things going for them that are exclusive, such as their S Helper, S Launcher, S Support, and S Manager, as well as S Recovery applications, although you'll see sort of versions of that in other places from time to time. But this one's really cool. Windows 8 does away with the Start menu. A lot of people were super upset about that. Samsung has gone ahead and added the Start menu back for you. So all you have to do is click on Samsung's Start menu application and you have what is a very traditional looking Start menu that is probably more useful with keyboard and mouse, which is probably a big part of the reason why Microsoft did away with the Start menu for Windows 8, which is mostly touch oriented. But it'll be there for you if you prefer to use it that way. However, I personally am already very used to accessing my most frequently used functions by swiping in from the right, and I'm a big fan of the fact that you can just type something like control panel and be pretty much ready to go, ready to use it very, very quickly. Thanks for checking out this NCIX Tech Tips on Samsung's Series 5 Ultrabook with touch for Windows 8. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this from your favorite e-tailer, NCIX.com.